Is your Superbox S5 Max not turning on? These basic troubleshooting steps will help you identify and fix the most common power issues. First, check that the power cord is securely connected to both the Superbox device and the electrical outlet. Loose connections are a common cause of power issues. Check the power adapter connection. Make sure it's firmly plugged into the device and that there are if you're using a surge protector or power strip, try plugging the Superbox directly into the wall outlet. Faulty surge protectors can prevent proper power delivery. Inspect the power cord for any visible damage, such as exposed wires, cuts, or bent connectors. A faulty power cord is one of the most common causes of power issues. Try a complete restart by unplugging the Superbox from power waiting at least five minutes to allow residual power to drain, then plugging it back in. Verify that the HDMI cable is properly connected to both the Superbox and your TV. Try using a different HDMI port on your TV or test with a different HDMI cable. Make sure the Superbox is placed in a well-ventilated area, away from other electronic devices that might cause interference and free from any physical obstructions. These basic troubleshooting steps resolve most power-related issues with the Superbox S5 Max. If your device still won't turn on, you may need to try more advanced solutions. If basic troubleshooting didn't resolve your Superbox S5 Max power issue, we'll explore advanced fixes, starting with factory reset options. Method one, press the period button and zero button on your remote simultaneously. Hold these buttons until the factory reset screen appears on your TV. Method two, navigate to your device settings menu, select device preferences, then choose reset. This method provides the same result through the user interface. Next, ensure you have a stable internet connection. Router and modem issues can prevent your Superbox from functioning properly, even if it powers on. Reboot your router and modem by unplugging them for at least 30 seconds, then plug them back in. Wait for full startup before testing your Superbox connection. Keep your Superbox software updated to fix bugs and improve performance. Access System Update or TV ROM Updater in your Settings menu. Here are additional troubleshooting tips that can resolve specific issues you might encounter with your Superbox. For buffering issues, clear the app cache in Settings, then Apps. You can also try the alternate decode option in your VOD app settings for better performance. If you're experiencing geo restrictions or ISP throttling, Consider using a VPN service to improve streaming performance and access. If all troubleshooting steps fail to resolve your Superbox power issue, contact Superbox support for professional assistance and potential warranty service.